I've been looking at London Candle Street against Dejan Investments. Yeah, yeah, I read that. Which is the first post Francis oh, yeah. Yeah. decision about ground F in the county court where it matters, like on the ground. Yeah. And yeah. it's a decision of His Honour Judge Saunders. Who's that? from about two or three weeks ago, July, I think it's July 2019, and it's the first decision under ground F. I think there are four things that are interesting about it. The first is a statement of the law as to intention under ground F, what intention the landlord must have in order to be able to resist a tenant's application for a new tenancy yeah. on the grounds of redevelopment. Subjective, objective, and then the new bit. And in this case, the London Kendall case, yeah. the judge says that the second condition objective is actually just a kind of thread of subjective, which is strange. Okay. And then the third test is the Francis test, which is whether the intention is independent of the tenant's rights to a new tenancy. Or in other words, Will the work still have been done even if the tenant had left voluntarily? Mm -hmm. Right. So those are the three tests. So that's the first thing we take, which is the new test of intention. The second thing we take is the is the reminder about the date of that the the, 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 inten the relevant intention is the intention at the date of trial. Yeah, Betty's Cafe. Betty's Cafe. Where is Betty's Cafe? Right. Well, that's the second thing. First thing we take is the new three-stage test of intention. The second is timing, date and intention. Yeah. The third is when the landlord must do the works. Show that he's going to do the works. Right, because the tenancy doesn't end until three months, 21 days after the date specified in the notice. 21 days is to allow for a time for appealing to expire. So he says it's, unre he says it's unrealistic to expect the demolition ball to hit the building midnight after three months 21 days there's a bit of leeway after that. none of this is really new no that's not new but it's nice to see it you know there's so few 54 art cases that actually fight it's nice to see it all set yeah. out don't you think yeah and the fourth thing to take from it is timothy taylor how does that connect how does timothy taylor connect with this The tenant occupied other premises and might have been able to obtain an injunction to stop the works in a different capacity as tenant of different parts. And so that that would have prevented the work and that would have stymied the ground F intention. But of course the ability to obtain the injunction is dependent upon balancing the duty of reasonableness. Right. And okay. right to do the work under the Timothy Taylor case. Okay, so that's really, that goes to the second limb of the intention test. Whether you can actually do it, right? It doesn't really go to the, the new Francis bit. No. The tenant's saying, you won't actually be able to carry out these works because we've got strong grounds for an injunction against you. Yeah, that's the, that's the fourth thing that came out of it. And the result of the case was... The intention was made out. The landlord was believed. The landlord's witnesses were believed. Mm. There was a man called Mr. Adams, who was said to be a man of integrity. Very reasonable, measured evidence. Yeah. And the moral of that yeah. story, and this is what you get from the county court, you don't get this from Supreme Court cases. A lot depends on just whether your witnesses are good witnesses. Mm. Do you have witnesses in your case today? No. I'm just on the possession list. What do you think makes a good witness? Knowing their evidence well. Yeah. Although actually in this case, um, the claimant did trip up the defendant's witnesses in cross-examination and the judgment makes quite a 
thing about that. Yeah. But then says, regardless, I still accepted the rest of his evidence. So it's basically effective cross examination, but didn't. Not enough to. Not undermine. enough. Not enough. Yeah. But it's all about your evidence. So a landlord and a tenant, I suppose. Well, a tenant's got to have, in ground effort. Tenant's got to have a good cross examiner. And a landlord has got to have a good witness. Isn't it really just going to turn on? I mean, how far back you can the paperwork shows that you have had these plans to do the redevelopment? I mean, that's what it really turned on in this. Oh, because they went all so, the way back to two thousand. Yeah. So the claimant's saying, "Look, yeah, you might have had these plans going far back, but they've been, you know, yeah, going nowhere." Yeah. You know, you've been dilly dallying on this for ages. Dilly dallying and, and shilly shally, <laughs> or just dilly dallying. And now, well, bumbling along. Bumbling along. Soon. And now you suddenly this this intention has suddenly crystallised, and now you're saying that you're about to do it immediately. That shows that you failed the Francis third lip because you clearly just rustled up that intention for the purpose of these proceedings. But the judge said no. You know, the, the long you've actually had long-standing plans to do this. And now it's all coming to fruition. So it's just another way of looking at the same. I think I should go left history. here. No idea. I'll go straight. All these taxes stop here. Can you see? Mm. It's really dangerous. Look, people revert. It's crazy. Houston. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 